Thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and congratulations to you all. I want to reassure you first, I'm not going to stand here for half an hour talking to you. <laughs> this is going to be uh, fairly short, but, but hopefully fairly poignant. And I'm just going to cover uh, two things. Firstly, what the world's HR directors and CEOs are saying are the four key skills they are now looking for from masters and MBAs in their careers to succeed for the next 10 years, which are different to the, the skills they've been looking for over the last five or six years. And then secondly, I'm just going to talk to you briefly about Amber, because you are um, able now to become members, completely free of charge, uh, Amber members of a huge global community of 30,000 fellow graduates such as yourselves. It's all completely free of charge, and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about that. Firstly, uh, a lot of CEOs, journalists, HR directors ask me, if, you, if, if I was your age now, what would I do in this increasingly global, complex, uncertain, and in some respects dangerous world to get ahead in business? And my answer is very clear and very simple to all of them. If I was mid-twenties to 40, I'd try and get the very best management education at the very best school I possibly could. And it's as simple as that because you've got a huge competitive advantage and congratulations to what you have achieved and been through to where you are. You have a huge uh, competitive advantage in the marketplace. At Amber, we accredit just 250 of the world's top business schools and 40,000 MBAs and some master students graduate each year. Uh, and you are what the world really is looking for, not only to create more successful business, small entrepreneurial ones, lead multinationals, but to make our world uh, a better place for the future, for yourselves, for your children, for your grandchildren. And I'll come on to that in a minute. But these are the four skills that all the top employers, whether you want to be an entrepreneur yourself or, or join a large company, say they're now looking for you for, for the next few years. The first is cultural awareness and experience. Um, this is a global world, whichever country you're in, organizations are trying to trade um, and build relationships internationally. And this is a fantastic talent. I mean, I, I've, been, I've just come back from Haiti, which is my 173rd country. And to see you all here today, this is absolutely a United Nation of Nations. And that's a huge advantage. What you've got in this last year, in terms of cultural friendships, relationships, and experience, um, most other bright managers will simply not get in a lifetime. So, so use that cultural skill well. It's a big job advantage for you. The second area is the one that sometimes uh, is a problem when you graduate because you're even smarter than before you came here. And that is they are looking for you as leaders to lead through inspiration and persuasion rather than commanding and giving orders. And there's a big difference there. People are looking for leaders who bring teams together and inspire and get people to follow you, not because you've ordered them to, because you persuaded and convinced them to. The third area is digital marketing and big data. And if there was one piece of continuous learning I'd, I'd, I'd advise you keep up with on a, on a quarterly basis, it, it's that. Um, I, I went to Harvard Business School in 1999. There was a wonderful senior professor called Warren McFarlane who taught both IT and finance. Finance is absolutely key, but he'd been teaching it since the 1960s, and he said the programs hadn't really changed much in 30 years. The core elements of finance are pretty consistent. But the IT course changed every single year. And that was 1999, which they called the first Harvard program of the internet age. So if that was changing every year, you can imagine how fast that's cha changing now. And employers are saying, we're looking for people who are digital marketing savvy, but also understand how to use and manipulate big data. And then the final area, perhaps the most important of all, is the whole area of responsible leadership and sustainability. These have been talked about and have been important in the past, but now we've reached a tipping point 
where you're going to make your biggest difference to our planet going forward. And I speak as, as chairman of a small division of the United Nations. If you've had time this week to see the UN General Assembly, it's top of the news everywhere this week. The challenges around us are not going to be fixed so much in future by armies or politicians, but business leaders, large and small, are going to have a big impact on the world of our future. And it's a great opportunity for you to show great responsible leadership sustainable initiatives in companies. So not only is it the right thing to do, but also employers are increasingly looking for those skills and a passion for those things uh, in recruitment. Uh, I filmed an interview with Paul Polman last year, the chief executive of Unilever, and Paul told me that if at a Unilever interview you can't demonstrate a passion for changing the world and caring for the world, you're almost certainly not going to get employed by them and many other companies now who are looking for those skills. Uh, you are a wonderfully socially responsible business school here. Uh, and again, that's, that stands you in great stead over other managers who mean well but haven't had the exposure to the case studies and the products and projects that you have. Now, just very quickly, a little bit about Amber and your membership. So, in the next few days, um, my team in London will, will liaise with alumni relations here and get your email addresses and just email you the details so literally within two minutes you can sign up for your Amber membership, which is completely free of charge. So, very quickly, um, Amber, the Association of, of, of MBAs, uh, under the banner B and Brilliant Company, brings four communities together Obviously, our business schools, and we accredit 250, just 2% of the world's schools, um, are members who are students and graduates exclusively from AMBER accredited schools. Um, there are now 30,000 of you, as from two days ago, and, and are joining at the rate of 1,000 a month at the moment. Employers, we bring advice on employment, jobs, etc., etc., and sponsors who play a big part in helping fund us. So we accredit 250 schools around the world. I'm not going to go into too much detail about that. It'll be 256 by the end of this month. But we will never uh, accredit many more than 300. So you, you have come to a school um, that is absolutely one of the best and recognised in the world. And our line says, like a diamond, an MBA or a master's is forever. And we won't go into the detail now, but there are very stringent criteria that the school here has met to be AMBER accredited. And as I say, the school is one of only 2% in the world to get AMBER accreditation. Um, in some research by one of our competitors, um, Half the potential MBAs surveyed, a thousand of them, said Amber were the most valuable organisation. So, so we were very pleased with that. So you're joining an organisation that is well regarded by other students and graduates. Um, our membership's gone up from 5,000 to 30,000 in just three years. And I'm just going to show you a few of your benefits. This is the 30,000. We have the 30,000th member, um, an Argentin wonderful Argentinian guy, last week increasingly global, uh, members from over 150 countries. So you're joining a really global community. Um, and, and, and my vision, our, our goal, is that this membership will grow to somewhere between 50 and 100,000. And you will be part of, a key part of, the world's largest and most global group of current and future uh, world business leaders. Uh, a real force for good. And, and we'll send you some more information on that as to how you know, we can support you and how you can support making a difference to the world. Very quick, there's four times of benefits. You're in a community of people like yourselves. This is not linked in with 10 million people trying to sell to you. All 30,000, and as it gets larger, are people like you from 150 countries who have graduated from an AMBER accredited school. It's a very like-minded network that we hope you'll really enjoy meeting both digitally and physically at events all over the world. Uh, secondly, on the jobs board within your website and within your community, we post some of the best MBA jobs around the world and careers advice from some of the world's top CEOs and HR directors. Thirdly, we have digital events all the time and physical events. So we, we've held 30 member events, again, free of charge all over the world in the last 12 months alone. And then finally, there's a range of exclusive 
uh, benefits for you because you are a high-flying community that some of the world's finest brands want to reach. Um, we'll bring you career advice and insights from some of the world's uh, top leaders. I mean, just, just four of the world's top leaders who've addressed our school faculty um, and our students through interviews with me, either live or filmed. And, you know, these are some of the smartest people in the world. Indra Nui, chairman CEO of PepsiCo, probably the world's foremost uh, female leader, uh, an amazing lady. Um, again, like yourselves, with a degree from an Amber accredited school. Um, each month you'll get Digitally Ambition magazine, which is full of articles on how you can improve your career, great ideas, where's the digital world of marketing um, and data going. Again, free of charge, emailed to you uh, 10 times a year. Uh, we have a career development center within your own community. Again, I'm not going to go into detail now. You, you'll be able to read all about it. But there's how to assess your own skills, how to prepare for interviews, uh, 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 and masters and MBA level jobs all over the world posted. And you have your own global community where you can network with the other 30,000 to 50,000 members in your own time. Share ideas, look for jobs, find friends if you're visiting a country, uh, discuss issues, write blogs, raise your own profile, position yourself for jobs in other countries. Um, and then finally, just, just one example of what you're eligible for. Um, as, as graduates today, at least for the next year, you're entitled to a completely free year subscription to the Wall Street Journal online. That's normally $370, but to you as AMBA members, it's completely free of charge. And as the community grows, so more and more companies will offer you, through us, uh, benefits like that. So that's all from me. Um, if you want some more detail and you have got time in the next few days, just go straight through to our website, mbaworld.com forward stroke apply. But we will take the pressure away. You've got a lot on at the moment. You want to celebrate now, and then you've got to get all across the world. So we will email you, and it's very simple for you to join and completely free of charge. So this is a momentous time for you. Um, I feel really proud of you. It's a very emotional day. You're one of the most globally diverse um, sets of students I've ever seen at a graduation ceremony. Congratulations uh, for everything you've done. And I will be around later this evening um, in a more relaxed way for you all to talk to any of you later. Thanks and congratulations once again.